Hey y'all, what's good? What's good? What's good? This your girl Rika the Empress, and yeah, I'm back in the building about to do a collective reading for my Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And if you haven't already, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Be clear to click all notifications. And if you're interested in a personal reading or interested in the products or services, hit your girl up. Let's get started with my Venetians. All right, overall energy for my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the overall energy for my Virgos? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Give your relationship a chance. Okay, you got getting to know each other in past life relationships. Um, There might be a reconciliation coming together. It might be somebody that you were in a past life relationship, whether it's lifetime or a past lifetime that, you know, y'all might be coming together. There might be some things that need to be expressed in order for y'all to repeal. Somebody might be wanting to be vulnerable and actually opening up. Or there might be a need to be vulnerable. But there's someone from your past that wants to work on this relationship. It could be you, Virgo. It could be the person you connected with. I'm going to clear out this energy. Oh, let's see, Virgos. All right, Spirit, can I get a good shuffle for my Virgos? Yeah, somebody sat behind a false mask. Or there was someone that was wearing a false mask in the relationship, behind their true feelings, their true emotions. This was somebody that probably had some blocked off emotions, but this is a person that is now experiencing a spiritual awakening. This is someone you were possibly um, dating. It could have been like a, a, a flame with the date and the hookup energy. That's the energy that I'm feeling. Yeah, but there is um, some, some, some emotions brewing from this situation. This was someone that you, uh, whoever this was, this was someone you were dating. It was more like a hookup. And I feel like there were some type of emotions brewing, yeah. Whoever this person was you came into a connection with, I don't really feel like it was a real relationship. I feel like you possibly uh, hooked up with this person and, you know, y'all could have possibly did do something. And after the sex, there was something going on within this relationship. Um, like I said, with the storm brewing, I feel like there's some things that were still okay. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like this was somebody you were dating and possibly hooked up with, and they're going through some emotion emotional turmoil and trauma. They their emotions are brewing right now, as you see with the storm warning card. Uh, that's emotions hitting the sand. So somebody's starting to have an awakening. Somebody's starting to feel their emotions and they're starting to feel this energy of regret and disappointment. Yeah, there could be a wedding involved in the situation, a higher level commitment. This person could be married. You could be married. Yeah. There could be somebody wanting to get married to somebody and experiencing some type of anxiety or worry. Or somebody could be in a marriage and is experiencing anxiety. I just heard PTSD. But we're going to see. There is someone that is suppressing their emotions. Yeah, there is someone that might be in a higher level commitment or wants to get in a higher level commitment or might still be going through some things from a higher level of commitment. Um, this is somebody who is suppressing their emotions for you. Whoever this person is, they're really suppressing their emotions. This is someone that is a player, so this might be someone that necessarily isn't looking for a higher level of commitment or is in a higher level of commitment and you were an option to them. And this is whoever this person is, this is someone that is longing for you. This is secret yearning for you. What is this wedding and anxiety uh, pertaining to for Virgo? What is this wedding and this anxiety? Surrender. Somebody has surrendered, has to surrender this situation. Yeah, 
somebody had to just surrender this situation because they were going through a lot of uh, drama in their marriage and somebody had to surrender whatever this is to the divine. It could have been some type of breakup that involved. It, it was a lot of trauma. Like, didn't I tell you PTSD? Somebody had to surrender this situation to the divine due to some type of breakup. There was a separation involved in this situation. And I feel like you and this person are mirroring each other right now. You could be married to this person. You could have been in a higher level of commitment or um, you could be, you could have dated this person and this person was in a relationship with someone else. And now this person might possibly be experiencing what you are, what you once were experiencing. Because whoever this secret crush is, this is someone that suppressed their emotions for you. They hear their emotions for you. They were in your player, they were in their player energy. This is someone from your past. What else is going on for my Virgos? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Yeah, you decided to date. Yeah, that was somebody you date and hooked up with. And then you started going through a lot of trauma and drama. And now somebody's filled with regret. This could be you. This could have been somebody you connected with. They could have been partying involved with this liquid courage. They could have been drinking involved with this situation. Yeah, somebody's doing a lot of heavy drinking. Do you see this attachment that they have for you? Or you could be uh, like a, a addiction to this person. But give me one second. Yeah, so this is what's going on with this situation. This person could possibly be doing a lot of heavy drinking. Um, liquid courage is usually uh, being drunk. A drunk man speaking sober truth, and that's what I'm really feeling like, that th this person is fixated on you, whoever this person is with the liquid courage. That's a drunk man speaking sober truth. This person is enamored by you. They fantasize about you. They desire you. But there is no communication. This person desires you. They fantasize about you. But you are not in communication with whoever this person is. <clears throat> yeah, this is uh, someone from your past life. It could be a karmic lesson. There might be some repeated patterns, but didn't I tell you, didn't I tell you past life relationships? So this is someone from your past life, possibly a karmic lesson or somebody had to learn something, but we're going to see. Yeah, this is a repeated pattern or a karmic lesson or someone from your past life that possibly ghosted you. Yeah, whoever this person is from your past life ghosted you or someone ghosted them. And now this person could be unexpectedly finding out that they're single. Yeah, they, they, oh uh, yeah. Whoever this person is, they ghosted you. Or you ghosted them or this is what happened to this person. Remember, take it as it resonates. But there is somebody from your past life that was ghosted. Or they ghosted you and there was something unexpected that happened in single. So somebody could have abandoned them. Yeah, there is some type of text message or communication that was sent to someone. Yeah. Yeah, whoever this person is from your past life that ghosted you. If you're single, Virgo, you can expect some type of communication. There's a message coming in for whoever this person is that is now having a spiritual awakening to the feelings they have for you. This person is awakening to the emotions that they have for you. Yeah. What else is going on for my Virgo? 
So yeah, you can expect some type of communication from this person. This person might actually, yeah. There's going to be a, a major upheaval. There, This is going to be a shock. This is unexpected. This is going to shock you. This is a major shock. This is a major change. Tower moment. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? This is a shock because this person... Mm. Give me one second. You know why this is a shock for you? Sorry about that, Virgo. It's because this person was hiding behind a false mask the whole time. This person was, wasn't uh, showing their true intentions, their true feelings. The clinging card came out. This person has been clinging on to you for a while. This person could be going through a situation because they were wearing a false mask. Yeah, this person might be a little bitter or hurt or have a little bit of resentment towards you or the situation. Yeah. Yeah, this is what's going on. There's about to be um, a major shock or a change to a situation. Uh, whoever the person was that was going, that was wearing a false mask, they're going, they might be having some type of bitterness or resentment towards an ex-lover. This person is going through this because of them wearing a false mask, because of the resentment they have towards an ex-lover. This person might have went through a major upheaval. Yeah, this is a soulmate, by the way, Virgo. I'm going to let you know this right now. This is a soulmate that uh, had strong feelings for you. This person definitely had strong feelings for you, but they were scared. There was some type of fear. I think the feelings that they had for you kind of scared them. Yeah, and they kept this a secret. With the fear and the mystery, this person really had strong romantic feelings for you, but it, and the feelings were so overwhelming that it kind of scared them and they kept this to themselves. This is what they're going to tell you. That's what that false mask was about. That they were so scared. Um, this is an unfinished connection. There is something that hasn't closed out between you and this person. Or this is how this person feels about you, Virgo. There is some type of unfinished business that you and this person has. And I feel like things, I feel like right now in this person's life, they feel like things are falling apart. They're, they're kind of in despair about a situation. They feel hopeless about this. They know there is something that they have to close out or... There is something that they know they need to make right. Yeah, this person was a brand new beginning with you. This person was a fresh start. They feel like they have unfinished business for you. This person is hurting right now. This person wants this brand new beginning with you. They want a fresh new beginning. They want a fresh start to this situation, Virgo, or you to them. Because they know the grass is greener with you. They now realize that the grass is greener with you. So that's why this person is mirroring you because they had the experience which you went through to now know how it is that you feel. And that's that's what's going on. This person is, is going to be a shock. It's going to be a major, major shock. This is going to come out of nowhere. Yeah. Uh, this person might be taking a risk in this situation or taking a leap of faith. You understand? There is major possibilities. Yeah. Complexity, importance. Yeah, this person is going to take a risk. They're going to see, take a leap of faith in your action, Virgo, or you and them. Because now this person understands the importance of your relationship. This person has did the work. They have did the change. They have did the transformation. Yup, and it's time to celebrate. They're ready to celebrate. I love this reading, Virgo. See y'all later. Bye.